Starting off this list in our 10th spot is Air Gear, a manga series written by Ito Ogure, which follows the life of main character Itsuki Minami. Air Gear revolves around the rollerblading sport going by the name of Air Trek, and Itsuki is the leader of the group known as the Storm Riders, which consists of his friends. What makes Air Gear interesting is not only its usage of rollerblading as a medium, but also the intense battles over territories, including the interactions between characters providing both amazing drama and dialogue. Next up is none other than Megalo Box, written by Katsuhiko Manabe and Kensaku Kojima. Megalo Box carries a message that is not only empowering but uplifting through the usage of Joe's character arc, which drives straight through the heart of viewers. It centers around the overarching epic of Joe on his quest for redemption and the highly anticipated rematch between himself and his rival Yuri. Megalo Box is a story of an underdog who finds the limits of his potential once fortune decides to fall within his favor. This is an exceptional show you definitely don't want to miss out on. Number 8. Yoamushi Pedal Yoamushi Pedal, written and illustrated by Wataru Watanabe, is a sports anime based on cycling. It pivots around MC Sakamichi Onoda, who gets thrown into the world of bicycling, making precious friends and cherished memories along the way. Watanabe's layoff for Sakamichi's character development is something that can resonate with a large audience, as a teen who loves anime and happens to be a loner is exposed to something he finds interest in. Yoamushi Pedal is an amazing sports anime to get invested in. Number 7, Ace of Diamond. Ace of Diamond is a series written and illustrated by Yuji Terajima, which anchors around Agent Sawamura, a baseball player who, although being an unpolished gem, happens to have a unique talent in pitching. We follow Sawamura on his journey to become the number one ace of Sado High, the most prestigious sports academy. The best feature of this show is that it shows the struggle that Sawamura has to undergo in order to achieve his dreams, and Terajima does not cut corners when it comes to this. Ace of Diamond will have you on the edge of your seat and rooting for its main character every step along the way. Number 6, I Shield 21. This one is a personal favorite of mine. Written and illustrated by Yusuke Murata, I Shield 21 tells the story of Sena Kobayakawa, a shy and timid youth who unwillingly joins the school's American football club as a running back. Although American football is not a very popular sport in Japan, Murata executes his portrayal of the sport and his technicalities extremely well. The show goes a step further by educating viewers on certain rules and regulations about the sport within its intermission. Sena's mild manner, although being one of his best traits, can lead him to be hesitant at times. However, this isn't the case for his alter ego, the elite running back from Notre Dame, I Shield 21. Number 5, Kuroko's Basketball. Next up is none other than Kuroko's Basketball, written and illustrated by Tadatoshi Fujimaki. Kuroko's Basketball is a series which focal point revolves around the protagonist Tetsuya Kuroko and deuteragonist Kagami Taiga. This show follows Kuroko and Taiga on a mission to defeat his former middle school teammates who make up a group known as the Generation of Miracles. It not only teaches fundamental aspects of the sport to viewers, but also provides interesting elements that keep you engaged and locked in. The character arcs within the show are another great part of it. Number 4, Prince of Tennis. Another great show which had to make this list is The Prince of Tennis, written and illustrated by Takashi Konomi. This series emphasizes on the sport of tennis, with Ryoma Echizen acting as the cornerstone of its theme. Ryoma is introduced as a gifted young tennis prodigy whose skills are unmatched by a majority of his peers and upperclassmen, all with the exception of his father, Nanjiro. This show guides us on Ryoma's journey in improving his skills enough to beat him by joining his father's alma mater, Shushun Academy, known for its prestige in tennis. Prince of Tennis has so much to look forward to, you should not really pass this one up. Joining this list in third place is the first step, more commonly known as Hajime no Ippo, written and illustrated by Tatsuhiko Urahata. This series involves the story of high schooler Ippo, who was constantly getting bullied at school. Soon after being saved by a stranger one day, he lunges into the boxing world, which proves to be more challenging than he could have ever imagined. What's so great about Hajime no Ippo is that it uses the sport of boxing as a medium to explore Ippo's relationship with friends, competitions with rivals, and the development of his abilities as a professional boxer. Ippo's story is one of triumph, defeat, struggle, and perseverance, which makes for a great series. Runner-up on this list is Slam Dunk, written and illustrated by Takehiko Inoue, which centers around the MC Sakuragi Hanamichi, who joins his school, Shikoku High's basketball team, to earn the favor of his crush, Haruko Akagi. Things don't go as planned when he finds out that she herself has a crush on his rival, Rukawa Kaide. 
Slam Dunk is more than just a romantic sports drama. It's a coming of age story honing in on the message of never giving up on your dreams, settling for less, and instead chasing your goals and what you believe in. This series is an emotional roller coaster and will have you wanting more as soon as you finish the first episode. And finally, for the moment we've all been waiting for, Haikyuu, written and illustrated by Haruichi Furudate, comes in at number one. Haikyuu excels in every aspect that we have covered thus far, as Furudate utilizes volleyball as a crucial instrument in engaging viewers. This series follows the main character, Hinata Shoyo and deuteragonist Kageyama Tobio, on their journey to restore the former glory of the Karasuno High volleyball team. What sets this apart from Koroko's basketball, for example, which bears resemblance in its focus on two centralized characters, is Hinata and Kageyama's formal rivalry. This gives fruit to a very interesting relationship as they are constantly pushing each other to the utmost potential, even without realizing. In addition to the attractive and immersive world that Furudate builds by introducing such a versatile cast of sporting characters that are irreplaceable in their own way. Well, that pretty much wraps up our list. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to check out our last one by clicking the link on the screen. And as always, it's never too late to like, comment, and subscribe to give us clues as to some videos you guys would be interested in.